The 2016 Internet Trends Report is out. Salesforce acquires Demandware for $2.8 billion. Apple's WWDC is going to be June 13th and more. It's Wednesday, June 1st, and this is Crunch Report. Welcome to the Crunch Report, y'all. Today is a good day. Something I look forward to every year is Mary Meeker's Internet Trends Report, and today we have that. It's just so smart and really gets you locked in on the state of tech and where it's heading. Here's just a sample of the insights. The global internet adoption rate was flat year over year at 9%, reaching 3 billion users or 42% of the world population. Video viewership is exploding with Snapchat and Facebook Live showing the way, though video ads aren't always effective. The USA could become the home of the auto industry again thanks to innovation from Tesla and Google despite US auto sales slipping since 1950, though car ownership will fall as Uber slash Uber pool sharing becomes mainstream. If you have time, I recommend checking out the whole deck. We have it embedded on TechCrunch.com. Miss Meeker, kudos on another great report. I like it. Salesforce announced that it would spend $2.8 billion to acquire Demandware, a cloud-based provider of e-commerce services to businesses big and small. The deal also will spearhead a new business division, the Salesforce Commerce Cloud. On the acquisition, CEO of Salesforce Mark Benioff said, Demandware is an amazing company, the global cloud leader in the multi-billion dollar digital commerce market. With Demandware, Salesforce will be well positioned to deliver the future of commerce as part of our customer success platform and create yet another billion dollar cloud. Salesforce will commence a tender offer for all outstanding shares of Demandware for $75 per share in cash. The transaction is expected to close by end of July. Some big money acquisitions happening these past two days. Google has made an update to its My Account service, which will now include a feature that helps users find their lost or stolen phone. You'll soon be able to find this new option just by Googling, I lost my phone, the company says. While Google already offered tools for Android users with missing devices, this expands Google's phone finding capabilities to help find iOS devices also. In further testing, according to Sarah Perez, it's clear that Google can't actually take control of iOS users' devices. It directs users to Apple's iCloud to find and lock their phone. Plus, it offers a tool for calling the phone and lets you sign out of Google services remotely. So, it's a little bit of a workaround. Apple just sent invites for its press event at the Bill Graham Civic Auditorium, and guess who's going? Not me, I, I wasn't invited. It's just like prom all over again. Like in previous years, the first day of Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference is going to happen on June 13th at 10 a.m. Pacific Time. As always, it's unclear what the company is going to announce, but there are rumors swirling. An improved Siri Assistant, new MacBook computers, to name a few. But I'm trying to push some new rumors. An Apple machete, internet connected sword, an Apple pogo stick about to corner the market, an Apple avocado. It looks like an avocado, but then inside is actually an apple. Poof, mind blown. Can you believe that? All those rumors that are coming out? People have been wondering, after finding out that Peter Thiel financially backed Hulk Hogan and suing Gawker, will Facebook keep him on the Facebook board? And at Code Conference today, Sheryl Sandberg responded with a simple, yeah, and said, we have very independent board members with very independent thoughts they share separately. Those strong people make strong board members because they have very strong views. Peter Thiel was an early investor in Facebook and made billions off that deal. That's the report for today. I'm Tito Hamzy. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube and also on a podcast, apparently. All right, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>